Honolulu police released video of a recent arrest of a protester against the wind farm project. This comes after that person claims that a taser was used on him. Sarah Madison joins us tonight from HPD headquarters with more on the story. Sarah. That's right, Howard. Now, the video you're about to see shows the moments when police are cutting the chains off Mana Morales, who was chained to a gate. And then the video takes you all the way up until he gets to the police car. Now, officials tell us that some of the video and audio has been edited so that you don't see the power tools used and you don't hear the terminology that police use as well. Now, police say Morales passed the police line to chain himself to the gate in order to stop the windmill convoy at Kalailoa. In the video, you see police have placed a blanket over his head so sparks wouldn't fly in his face when they cut the padlock with the power tool. Moments later, Morales was escorted to the police car. Now, acting chief John McCarthy says officials involved in the arrests were not carrying tasers. The officers that are dressing the uh, actual protesters making the arrest don't do so because they have enough equip equipment on their belt. They don't have enough space and it's not a necessary tool for them. I'm not going to guess on his truth, uh, truthfulness or not. You can see from the video he clearly was not injured. He was not punched during that time. Uh, the taser would leave a video uh, evidence of the fact that it was used and we don't have that evidence. So there was no taser used at any time. Now, we reached out to the spokesperson of the group, Kukia I Kahuku, who are against the windmill project about the matter. The spokeswoman says that they will have a statement ready. Now, police say Morales was not injured, but he was taken to the hospital for an unrelated medical condition before he went to the police station. Now, we're told Morales has posted bail. Officials say that he has not filed a complaint. Now, if people want to file a complaint for misconduct, they can submit it to the Honolulu Police Commission or to HPD's Professional Standards Office. Back to you in the studio.